There are many people who describe the battle against BDS, boycott, divestment and sanction and delegitimization of the State of Israel as the latest phase in the battle for Israel's survival. Well, if that's the case, then you could say that the other side, the enemy, has had a pretty good couple of weeks. They won a court case in which they challenged local government rules on uh, pension, using pension funds uh, for boycotts. Uh, they uh, were able to go ahead with uh, a Palestine Expo at the Queen Elizabeth II Centre, despite uh, protests that the organisers of it were supporters of terrorism. Uh, and there was, as we know, the Al-Quds Day march, where people were waving Hezbollah flags and so on. But despite all of this, my view is that this battle against BDS and delegitimization ebbs and flows, and that over the last three years since the JLC has started investing in this fight, we have had a number of uh, victories. The tide is turning in our favour, and in my view, we're beginning to roll the boulder back up the hill. You know, just sometimes the other side will overstretch themselves. In my view, they did that with the Al-Quds Day march. That brazen flaunting of the rules on Hezbollah flags has just opened the door, in my opinion, for us to talk to government about a full prescription, not just of Hezbollah flags, but of Hezbollah as an organisation here in this country. If you look at local government, since we've been investing with local government Friends of Israel, the situation is much more benign. There hasn't been a boycott motion for three years. There hasn't been a flag flying in the same period. Students have hit back. This year's uh, uh, Israel Apartheid Week was nowhere near as divisive as in previous years. And you were able to see the fruits of the investment that we've put into uh, supporting uh, the students with the results at NUS, with a number of moderates being elected onto the uh, NUS executive and a number of resolutions passing in our favour. Retail was a huge area of protest, but because of the work we've done with the British Retail Consortium, we're able to deal with problems as they arise much more quickly. Retailers are fully aware of the problems with getting involved in boycotts. And on the cultural side, not just has culture for coexistence begun to take people from uh, the cultural world out to see coexistent projects in Israel, but even in the last few days, we've seen Radiohead performing in Israel, and we've seen a strong response to the BDS movement from Tom York, the lead singer, and in my view, quite hilariously, the arch boycotter, Ken Loach, has had his films being shown in Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. The UK situation certainly needs constant vigilance, um, it needs activity and it needs resource because although the target of the BDS movement is Israel, its impact is felt locally. And whilst those people who campaign for Palestinian rights are using the vacuum that exists in the peace process to try and push for punitive measures against Israel, there's no question that whereas something that might happen in Preston might upset people in Jerusalem, its real impact is felt locally and here in the United Kingdom. And so therefore a local problem with BDS and delegitimization requires local solutions. And that's why we at the JLC and our partners are putting so much resource into this fight. But there are things that you can do as well. I'm on Twitter and Facebook a lot and I see a lot of people talking to each other about how outraged they are about acts of BDS and delegitimization. There are people saying, why aren't we doing things? Well, in my view, you can do things. I am calling on, on our community to get active to fight against BDS and delegitimization. If you're interested, don't just sit on social media and watch. Sign up to one of the groups that can call you to action. We believe in Israel the Israel-Britain Alliance, even to register with us at the JLC once you've watched this video. In that way, you can be able to take concrete action to work to help to fight BDS and delegitimization. And in that way, we'll carry on rolling that boulder back up the hill. We'll win more than we'll lose in the fight against BDS and delegitimization.